Getting started. There are two main questions to be considered as one makes the transition out of the military. One, how to discover your passion. And two, how to follow your passion. For all of you military veterans out there debating your next move, or current military men and women wondering where life will take you after the military, I advise you spend some deep moments considering these questions. I believe you can achieve nearly whatever you set your mind to, within reason and given enough discipline and focus. If we assume this to be true, which I feel my life has proven, along with many of the folks I interviewed in this book and my recent book, Creative Writing Career, Becoming a Writer of Movies, Video Games, and Books, then you just have to figure out where you would be happiest and then make it happen. Let me back up and fill you in on the summary of my experience. After five years in the Marines, I went off to discover myself. I put the idea of getting a paycheck through a realistic job above the idea of following my passion. This led to some fun years living in Japan, Korea, and Italy, an interesting experience working in international trade, post-conflict reconstruction and stabilization with the U.S. government, and banking regulation at the Federal Reserve of San Francisco. However, I was missing something and knew I could not continue down that path. I looked at my life and realized I had no choice but to pursue my passion for creative writing. At some point along the line, I'd started writing a novel and knew the best way to improve my craft was to take some writing classes. I'd used my GI Bill on my international relations degree, so thought I was done. However, I met some active duty soldiers who told me about the post-9-11 GI Bill and that even though I had used up my Montgomery GI Bill, this new source of funding was still, partially, available to me. I promptly looked it up and found out they were right and applied to the MA in writing program I had my heart set on and got rejected, but only the first time, because one year later I was accepted. And guess what? I asked them, and the fact that I played up my military past on my application helped me get in. I was simply too immature a writer the first time I applied. I loved working toward my MA in writing with a concentration in fiction. If you are considering life as a writer, I highly recommend pursuing such a degree. I met many wonderful authors in the program, and formed a tight friendship with a fellow former Marine. I started leveraging LinkedIn and emailing writers and asking for advice. And of course, my degree helped in building my credibility as an aspiring writer. Now I find myself working full-time as a writer at Telltale Games. I optioned a screenplay and published books, short stories, and poetry. None of this would have happened if not for my military time, the GI Bill, and my determination to follow my passion. So whether it is writing or some other dream you wish to pursue, I encourage you to go for it. If you are a military veteran, you have a strong connection to many men and women who are willing to help you, both veterans and non-veterans. You also have benefits like the GI Bill, which means resources such as an education are available to you. Use them and pursue your passion. There is a lot more to my story than is written here. And for the rest of it, I recommend that you listen to some of the podcasts where I was interviewed such as those by Frank Gustafson or Joe Crane, more shortly. The great thing about being a veteran and trying to make it in the entertainment industry is that we are known for having discipline and being organized. This is not true of a lot of people in the entertainment industry. You can use this to your advantage and hope it gives you a leg up on your competition. But for now, let's assume you are very dedicated, passionate, and ready to do anything to break in. Perfect. My work here will be that much easier. My first piece of advice is to not go with the shotgun approach. If you are more of a project manager, consider production. If you are a writer, put your energy into writing. Play to your comparative advantage and focus, focus, focus. That being said, a lot of you will leave the military and not know exactly how you want to be involved. That is fine as well. The industry is extremely competitive, but if you are able to get in as a production assistant, PA, or other similar entry-level position, you will have the opportunity to see how it all works, network, and pay your dues. I must warn you, it is a bit like being an E3 all over again, if you ever were an E3. So you may feel like a glorified intern, but do not let your ego get in the way. You are there to learn the industry, make connections, and build your resume.